All right. So have you, do you see how I have it set up here? I have on my left side the worksheet, and on the right side I have my simulation. I opened the simulation with this blue link. I read the instructions. I'm going to set it up so, it, so I'm using an inelastic collision. So down here, I'm not going to select elastic. This is an inelastic collision. The carts will stick together after they collide. Like, watch these guys collide. They stick together just like that. Next thing is I want to make sure that my initial conditions right here in the worksheet match what I have set up in my simulation. The velocity of the red cart is 5 with a mass of 1, 5, 1. And the initial velocity of the blue cart is 0, so let me change it here. And the mass is 1, so there, I'm good. On the worksheet, this is called an MVP chart. We're going to figure out the momentum of all, both objects before the collision and the momentum after the collision. So the red cart, let's start filling in everything we know. M stands for mass, so that's 1. This red, this is the mass of the red car, which is the mass of the, mass of the red car is 1 kilogram. Mass of the blue cart is 1 kilogram. The velocity of the red cart is 5 meters per second. And the velocity of the blue cart is 0 meters per second. This is before the collision. Momentum is mass times velocity. That P, this P symbol, it stands for momentum. Never forget. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 0 is 0. The units for momentum are kilograms, meters per second, but we're just going to keep the numbers here without, just to make it easier to write. When, for the total momentum, whenever you find the total of something, you add them together. So this stands for the P total, or the total momentum of the red car, plus the total momentum of the blue car, and that will give you the total momentum of the system of both objects. Like if I hit play, the total momentum of both of these objects together is 5, 5 plus 0 equals 5. So 5, kil five kilograms meters per second. Now, we let them collide, and they're now moving at 2.5 meters per second, so that's the velocity of both of the carts together, 2.5, and their mass together, well, we have a one kilogram mass and a one kilogram mass together, that's two kilograms. Two times 2.5 is five, and that means that the total momentum is five, good. And that's how you fill these charts out, easy peasy. I like having it set up in this way. That way you can see if you're, how your initial conditions match. And then you press play, and then you can collect the final velocity of both of the carts together as they're moving. So that's how you fill in these MVP charts.